Hello and welcome to Loppy Loves. If you haven't been here before, my name is Lauren and on this channel I talk about my life as an immigrant living in Iceland. In today's video I am going to be making some suggestions for souvenirs that you can buy in Iceland, which are a little bit different or hopefully useful items that are not just going to clutter up your home and just sit unloved on a shelf for many years. Some of these items you might have already thought of, but some of them may not have occurred to you to buy as a souvenir. So I just thought I'd make this video with a few suggestions. The first item is the infamous bonus bag, which is quite a popular souvenir. It is from Bonus Supermarket, which is the cheapest supermarket in Iceland. And the reason that this bag is so popular is because the bonus pig has always looked a little crazy and a little drunk. Although they did change the pig earlier this year and I don't know if they've changed the bags yet to match the new pig. The new pig's a bit more boring and there was a bit of a public outcry <laughs> at the new pig. So um, maybe get this soon if you're visiting Iceland soon before they change the bags over to the new pig if they haven't already. Mine is a bit worn out because I've had it for years and I use it a lot. But this is the bonus pig. But this is quite a popular souvenir, it's probably also one of the cheapest souvenirs you could buy in Iceland. And it is also useful. The next item is a little bit pricey for what it is, and it is only available for a very limited time window every year, but it does do a lot of good, so if you get the chance to buy one, I'd recommend going for it. And that is one of these little key rings. They are normally available in supermarkets, I think it's for two weeks in November? I might be wrong on that though. They are quite expensive for what they are, but this is how the rescue teams raise money. And if you didn't already know, the rescue teams in Iceland are all run by volunteers. And I do believe that they release a new figure every year, but I might be wrong about that. If not, they do release a new figure every few years at least, but I think it is an annual thing that they have a new character out. The next thing on the list is just anything consumable, any food item, so it could be uh, sweets and chocolate, it could be alcohol, it could be some Icelandic salts, which you can get in gift packs like this, and there are quite a lot of brands of salt, um, and a lot of the salts are flavoured, like this one. And also Icelandic tea made from Icelandic herbs. Uh, there are quite a lot of tourist shops selling tea made from Icelandic herbs and they're normally really good. So that's a quite unique souvenir that you could take home. Now my next one isn't an item, but it's more of a tip. It's to go into the second hand shops and see what you can find. Sometimes some souvenirs are donated in bulk to the second hand shops if they haven't been selling or it's like the end of the line. You can also find some vintage Icelandic items like commemoration plates or spoons or just books, you know, different things. Even Icelandic artwork at a very low reasonable price. And you can even find handmade local crafts there. Like the, you can quite often find a lot of handmade glassware, like glass bowls and things that have been made by locals that they've just donated. So I would highly recommend checking out the secondhand shops here to find a good deal. This next one is something that I like to do whenever I go travelling, but it would work on this list too. I like to buy a postcard of wherever I'm going to, write myself a little message, a little memory of something that happened on that trip, and post it back to myself. And then I have a picture of the place on the postcard, um, a little memory that I wrote at the time, the postage stamp from that country and then you can just like hole punch them and put them in a binder to make like a little book of memories from when you travelled. So that's another option, buy a postcard, very cheap. This next one is probably the most expensive souvenir you could buy, but you could buy a Loppapesa which is the Icelandic jumpers made from Icelandic wool. They're very warm. They are also very expensive, but they will last you a lifetime if you buy one, so I do think it is an investment. I do have four of them, but I don't know where any of them are at the moment because I recently moved house and uh, everything's a bit of a mess right now. But if you do buy one, make sure that you have a handmade one that is made by a local. 
not a mass produced one that are often made abroad, try to find somewhere where you would know that they are guaranteed to be handmade. And going on from that, if you knit or crochet, buy some really nice warm Icelandic wool. It's not an expensive souvenir and uh, yeah, you can knit yourself some memories. You can also buy knitting patterns, uh, just any knitting supplies really. So that was just a short list of some alternative souvenirs that I'd recommend considering if you are coming to Iceland. Leave me a comment below if you have any other suggestions for souvenirs to buy in Iceland or what your favourite souvenir was when you visited. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Have a lovely day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!